Aaron Jones, Team USA. Uh, please introduce yourself and the publication you represent before asking your question. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Nilesh Mehta from Chicago, Hi India. First of all, congratulations. 1844, the first international match between US and Canada. Fast forward to 2024, and now in the state of Texas. You are part of history. How does that feel? Um, I mean, it's a great feeling. Um, obviously, firstly, to play in a World Cup and definitely to represent USA. And it's an even better feeling to get over the rope tonight playing against Canada. Uh, hi, uh, Smith Patel from Crick Bus. You were overlooked for the MLC draft. Um, describe the setting uh, where you were and how did you react to the news? And now, what is the message that this innings gives out to the, uh, to the franchises ahead of the uh, draft on June 15th? Um, to be honest with you, um, <clears throat> when I wasn't selected in the Major League, um, I just took it as a next uh, stepping stone, to be honest, in the journey. Um, obviously, I would have loved to get drafted, but so it goes sometimes. I think the innings tonight will probably, I don't know, um, open the eyes of some people who really actually don't know me or know about USA Cricket. And um, just really and truly let them realize that we have great players here and that we have a lot of talent here and that we are willing to play at the highest level for sure. Uh, second one on Yeah, thanks. Uh, what, uh, what do you have to say uh, to a certain section of American cricket fraternity who were kind of uncertain about your spot in the middle order uh, with the way the innings that you played today? Um, I think sometimes as a cricketer, you could go, um, what I would say, a bit under the radar. Sometimes if you have a few low scores, I always back myself and I always know that I'm capable of performing at every level and um, I'm really happy that I came out on top today and I had a good innings and I won the game for USA and I hope it could open some eyes of some um, people around the world and they can really and truly understand that I'm good enough to play T20 cricket. Uh, Simon Evans from AFP. I mean you were under a bit of pressure there, it wasn't, team didn't get off to a great start to that reply but you seemed like you thrived in the, in the pressure, Was is that is that something you you particularly enjoy that, those kind of moments? Yeah, to be honest with you, from young, I was always put in positions where I need to be the man, I need to save the team or to help the team win. And um, I think it brings out the best in me, to be honest. Um, so when I went into bat tonight, I just, I just saw it as another game, me going out there to fight for my team and to bring my team to the, uh, as close as possible to the line. And if I get as close as possible to the line, then I get over the line, it's great for the team. Jatin Patel from Cricket Show USA. Uh, you had a great win against Bangladesh and this is the, also another big win. Going forward, what is the team plans about momentum? I know they are a bit to do well. <laughs> momentum? Um, I think right now the team is in a good place. Um, we have some great players to be honest with you. Um, and we just want to keep winning as much as possible. Of course, you can't win every single game for the rest of our lives. But we want to win as many games as possible and we want to beat as many teams as possible and really show the world that USA really have great cricketers here in the country. Hi Aaron, uh, Dr. Adnan from N6 TV Canada. First of all, congratulations for the win and very brutal for the Canadians. So in the last two months, you guys know 5-0. Very convincing and as he said about the Bangladesh that already you toppled up. So what is the plan? for the giant killers like Pakistan and India in the group. Any specific plans? Um, I don't think our plan is going to change much, to be honest. We want to play fearless cricket. We want to play hard cricket. We want to play smart cricket. And I think we're going to go into the Pakistan game with the same mindset. We want to play fearless cricket, regardless of who we play against. Hi, Aaron. Uh, Timothy Abraham, BBC Sport. Um, 
incredible knock is that one that must be up there in terms of your own personal performances your own most brutal hitting i mean where does it rank for you i think it's up there to be honest um probably the the, the best knock uh, for me as it relates to playing for usa um or maybe it could come second to the 100 i score when we gain odi status but um i think this one is a bit more special because it's obviously a world cup and definitely we know that canada is our rivals and we are playing the first game of the World Cup. Everybody's watching and we want to start off on a good note. So, um, yeah, I had a good knock tonight and I'm really grateful that I could win the game for my team. Well, first of all, Prost America, Steve Clare. Firstly, obviously, congratulations. Uh, my question is this. Normally in cricket, it's the batting side that collapses. Today was unusual in that the bowling side collapsed. Were you and your batting partners, especially Gauss, aware that the Canadians were falling to pieces? And did you talk about how you might put more pressure on them to encourage the acceleration of your control over the game? Um, I wouldn't say that we thought they would collapse. What I would say is when I went to bat, I just told, I told Gauss, okay, well, right now we in a bit of spot of border. And um, if we want to win the game, we got to be aggressive. We got to be positive. So. Is either we go down, die hard, and we get ball up for whatever score, or we try to get the score, to be honest. That's our mindset. We want to be fearless, we want to be positive, we want to play smart cricket. And also, in being fearless, we want to have like, good shot selection as well. If you, if you know you don't sweep, don't sweep. If you know you don't use your feet, don't use your feet, but be aggressive regardless of the situation. And yeah, it came out on top, and I'm very happy for the win, to be honest. Aaron, Peter Delapena with Dream Cricket. Just one question and then a follow-up. The ninth over was when everything changed. You were 48 for two, and then you had that 19 run over against Nikhil Dutz. It started with the no ball, and then Andres hit the six, and then things started to flow. You got a strike. You hit your first six. What was discussed, if anything, before the start of the over? Was there a conscious decision to target him at the start of that over, or was anything else said or discussed to get you guys to change momentum during that over? Uh, we didn't. We didn't discuss uh, targeting him per se but we knew that at some stage we had to put the bowling under some pressure regardless of who bowling and um, obviously he's an off spinner and both of us bat right handed so it's a bit of a match up so we just um, made sure that we be aggressive and it came, up, it came out on top whether it's one six in particular the game winning six some other six some other moment over the course of the night that you'll remember most when you look back on this five years from now, what will it be? I think may, maybe the six against uh, Dylan Helliger um, over Kalkarna. I think that one was good. I, I felt good after hitting that one. Uh, uh, Daniel Beswick, I to say digital. Uh, the crowd, the atmosphere here was incredible. How much did you use that to kind of channel your energies and what was the conversation with uh, house in the middle there, trying to rebuild at the start, and then just building on, on that momentum with the crowd that you had, uh, yeah, behind your behind your back. Yeah, I mean, it's it's always a great feeling when you're playing home. Um, obviously, the majority of the fans um, are obviously backing us. Um, I obviously wanted, especially because uh, America is not really a cricketing country in quotes. I wanted to win the first game of the tournament and against Canada for for our fans and. We did that. We wanted to be positive. Um, Ghost is always a batsman that tried to be positive regardless of the situation. And um, yeah, we just decided that we were going to be aggressive, we were going to be positive, and it came out on top. Uh, two questions. So, uh, you know, Zaheer Khan once said that when he was bowling at his best, he felt like he was meditating. Um, what kind of zone were you in today? Uh, what would you compare that feeling to? It almost felt like you were in, a, in some sort of a zen mode out there. Yeah, I could agree with that. Um, sometimes when you play innings like this one, today um, you go home and you sleep and then you wake up in the morning and sometimes you say, yeah, wow, like, I don't even know how I bat like that. It happened to me like probably two or three times in the past. I probably think that in the morning it's going to be like that for me as well. Yeah, and we've, I've seen that in the past before having tracked a career since the past five years. Uh, like whenever you're in this mode, I've seen you hit sixes before as well. Uh, you kind of gesture like this and say something to your partner uh, whenever even he hits a six or whenever even you hit a six. So what were those words that were being uh, told by you to, uh, to Andreas' house? Uh, 
what were you what were you telling him when you were gesturing like this all the time i think is um it's just a bit of emotion when we have a plan and we execute it especially when it's a game that's so tight we know that every single over we have to be scoring quickly um so if he hit a six or a four if i hit a six or a four it's just emotions come out to be honest like what are the words say that again what were the words uh i can't really remember right now to be honest <laughs> <laughs> It's been a lot of people who have been critical of your spot in the T20 team specifically, and one of them is right here. Uh, for anybody who has been critical and questioned your spot in the team, what would you say to them after tonight? Look, for me personally, I think um, I believe in myself. I work hard, to be honest. Um, I believe I can play any format. Um, and you know, sometimes, like, Virat Kohli is probably the best batsman in the world right now and everybody don't like him. Everybody don't think that he should be in the India T20 squad and obviously he's a, he's, he's a great player, he's a legend. So I don't really worry if somebody say, oh, Jones should not be in the US T20 team or whatever. I just use it as motivation. I know that I'm good enough to play at the highest level and um, whenever given the opportunity, I'll do my best for sure. Last question. Okay. Uh, before the game, before I guess leaving for the game, you tweeted, you gave precious life to me, uh, so I'll give my <laughs> life for you. Just, just take us through that. Like that, that was your last tweet before. Uh, yeah, that's just a song. I actually tweet a lot of songs. Um, I listen to reggae. Obviously, um, I grew up in the Caribbean, so that's just a, a line from a reggae song. But I normally, before I come to games or before I go to practice, I normally listen to a lot of reggae music to just get me in a good zone. You know, it's been raining cats and dogs over the last uh, several days in Texas. Uh, tell us about the playing conditions, the outfield and the pitch, the way it's been prepared. What is your experience about it uh, for this particular match? No, the, uh, the facility is really good, to be honest. Um, the wicket is really good. Um, the outfield is fast. I actually didn't think that the outfield would be this fast, to be honest. But um, the ball is running nicely. And um, yeah, everything is really good. Um, the Nets don't play uh, exactly like the, the outfield wicket, but um, yeah, the facilities are great, to be honest. Thank you.